The state Democratic caucus held its first hearing over the ongoing TANF scandal. Mississippi Department of Human Services Director Bob Anderson and leaders from poverty-focused organizations testified. Governor Richard Lake has more on what we learned from today's hearing. Richard? That's right, Walt. Well, the goal was to get a deeper look into how federal dollars were misspent and to see how the state can better serve low-income families. Now, the first witness to testify was MDHS Director Bob Anderson, and he spent the majority of his time discussing operations at the Department of Human Services. And according to Anderson, 90% of applicants are denied or abandoned their application for TANF funds due to restrictive requirements. I told my staff when I arrived that I thought we were doing a woefully inadequate job at providing basic assistance to families. But I want to get to the individual answers about why families either don't feel comfortable coming to us to apply or what figures into their decision to abandon. Are they fearful of sanctions? I don't know. Are, are the eligibility guidelines too harsh? Could be. We're looking at all of those issues. According to State Representative Robert Johnson, restrictive qualifiers such as mandatory drug tests are measures that the legislature is looking to change in 2023. And the State Democratic Caucus does plan on holding more hearings in the future and we'll have more testimony from families impacted by Mississippi welfare practices at 5 and 6. Mel?